Okay, let's bring this back to music, your music for a second. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect us to take this turn, but it's such a pleasure sitting and talking with you and picking your brain, getting your thoughts on these things. How many Grammys do you have? One or two? I have one. You got one Grammy. I have one of every award there is to have in music. So you got Grammy, BT Award, uh, 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 American uh, Music Award. American Music Award, Hip Hop Award. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like... Awards are very, very nice, but they don't mean everything. Me, my, me singing to my audience and my audience coming to me see, and they paying their hard earned money to come see me. That means everything to me. So you like, OK, so I got to ask you, because some artists love being in the studio. They're studio rats. Yeah. And there's other artists. I make records in the studios just so I can get up on that stage and perform in front of the people. You're saying I'm one of those people who just love to be on stage. I love to be on stage. I love performing. I love to sing. I love to, and I sing every day still. I love to see where my voice could go and how I can ease in and out of notes and everything. That's That brings me joy. So to this day, you still sing every day? I still sing every day. Are we talking singing in the shower? Singing in the shower. As I'm getting ready for my day, I sing in the shower. Yep. Uh. Okay, your, your Grammy, it was for Never Knew Love Like This Before. It was for Never Knew Love Like This Before, yep. I ask this to every artist that I um, have an opportunity to sit with. Did you know that record was going to become what it became? No. Absolutely no. not. No. I love that record, Miss Stephanie. Are you <laughs> see, you didn't hear Thank that you. record? I didn't. I didn't. You know what? You go in the studio as I do. I go in the studio and I do my very best. But you don't know what it's going to do. You don't know how it's going to hit people or anything like that. You know, you just don't know. Whoa. I didn't know. I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, to this day, that song is crazy. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, to this day. Uh, where, where do you keep your awards? Well, they were at my sister's house. <laughs> so you were not playing they still when are, you... I don't keep them at my house. They're at my sister's house. So you, you was not playing when you said those awards don't mean much to me. No, they really don't. They don't. I mean, I appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. And I'm thankful. But they don't mean everything. I mean, being able to perform and sell out shows and for your people to come and see you and scream and have such a good time, that means everything to me. Because people are paying their hard-earned money to come see me. That means everything to me. I love that. I love that. And, and, that's, and that shows you can tell when an artist, and I've been doing this for a long time, working with artists for many years. You can tell when it's a money grab for them. You can tell when it's strictly business. I don't want to be here. I'm going to go and just give y'all just the bare minimum. Right. Because I got my check anyway. Right. So to hear you say what you just said, that's what it's all. That's the love. That that That's the love. That's the love. That's the love. Like for you to want to talk to me and, and, and we really talk about real stuff. That's the love. That's what I love. I'm not about the fake stuff. <laughs> Most said something else. I'm not about the fake, the fake. I like, I like real talk, you know? Okay. Another one of my favorite songs of yours is Feel the Fire. Ah, yes. That was written by Peebo Bryson. Oh, Peebo wrote that. Peebo nice. Bryson, yes. Okay. It in in obviously should it's a duet with Teddy Pendergrass. Yes. What what was it like to work with Teddy? Wonderful. Oh, I miss him so much. He was truly a big brother to me. I love Teddy. Teddy, there's never been another male singer like Teddy. He was tall, no. dark, and handsome, and just everything that women wanted. And there hasn't been anyone like that since. Teddy was very kind to me. He was very, 
you know, he had his arrogance, but he was very kind. I'd say confident. He was just very confident in what he was doing. And women loved themselves some and Teddy. And women loved themselves some <laughs> Teddy Pendergrass. They sure did. They really did. That was another brother that black women loved themselves. Oh, some Teddy my P. God. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Um, at some point, you know, as I was researching you, I don't know if he just was a young prodigy or Teddy Riley is older than I realized. But speaking of Teddy, you actually... Got in the studio with Teddy Riley, correct? Yes. Yes. And when he was really going, like, ascending on up, I got with him. Yes. An incredible writer. How old was and, he, would you say, at the time? Oh, my God. Because I don't know how old Teddy is now. What is he? Is Teddy in his 40s now or 50s? No, Teddy's in his 50s. Teddy's in his 50s. Okay, so he, I'm in my 60s, so he had to be, like, in his teens, 19 or 20, when we got together. See, people don't realize just how long, you know, some of their favorites been doing it and exactly. doing it at a high level. Exactly. That's true. What song did he work with you on? Um, Real Love and Fast Talk and something else. I forget what else, but those are the two. He did like two or three songs with me. Yeah, Teddy Riley's a beast, man. He's a beast. He also worked with Mike. Yeah, he also worked with Mike. T Teddy been doing it for a long time. For a long you know time. something too? Another one of these songs that I love from you, you had an opportunity to work with another great singer. Who? Power of Love, oh, Miss Angela Winbush. Yes, Miss Angela Winbush. That's my sister <laughs> friend. That's my sister friend. Angela wrote Power of Love, Something in the Way You Make Me Feel, So Good, So Right. She wrote a lot of songs for me. Mm. Yeah, and produced them. She's I didn't extremely know she wrote underrated. Something in the Way You Make Me Feel? Yep, she wrote that. Wow. Yeah. So y'all just had a chemistry. Was she, when she was writing, was she writing for you? Well, no, Power of Love had was pre-recorded with somebody else already, had been out. And um, but something in the way she wrote for me. So good, so right, she wrote for me. Yeah. That's amazing. I did not know she wrote those records. Yes, yes. She's very underrated. Okay, what's your favorite record that you ever recorded? Oh my God. It's hard for me to say. It really is, because I love Starlight. I love Power of Love. I love um, I Feel Good All Over. It's hard. It's hard for me to say. Yeah, I'm going to tell, tell you a funny story. I remember when I was young, and um, I'm not sure if you have any uh, recollection of this, but anyway, my older brother was locked up, and he was locked up upstate. And my mother used to make me and my brother get up early and we had to go downtown to take a bus. And we had to be on that bus something like four o'clock in the morning because we the, the bus ride upstate was something like, I don't know, six, seven, eight hours. And I never forget, we was on that bus. It was like five in the morning. And you know, a lot of ladies are going to see their men locked up yes. and they smelling good, looking good. <laughs> and it was still dark outside. And it was this woman, and I'm a little boy at this time. It was this woman on the bus at four in the morning blasting. I feel good all over. <laughs> and to this day, every time I hear that record, you think I about think her. Of her. Yeah, I think <laughs> of her going to see her man locked up. Wow. That's funny. <laughs> yes. That's funny. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 